Hey everyone, today I'm going to answer your guys' questions that I received over the last few months. And I will start with the most frequently asked question and that is the question if we will film a gender reveal and if we will find out the gender. And yes, we will find out the gender and in fact we already know. And if you paid really, really close attention to my videos, you may have seen something in the background or... Uh, well, not in the background, but there was something in the video while I was filming. Uh, what might tell you what the gender is. But that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm still thinking about what kind of gender reveal I will film. I think I will keep it really simple. Someone asked if I maybe could do something with like uh, colored balloons or a cake with, um, with a colored inside. But I honestly don't think so. I think I will keep it really simple. But maybe I will upload a little bit of the footage that we recorded on the day that we went to our anatomy scan. Because that was the scan where we found out the gender. And we vlogged a little bit. Not inside the um, room where we had the scan. Because they said we could not film there. But it's not really common in the Netherlands to make a really big deal and a big party out of the gender reveal. I really like it though, but uh, I'm just not very used to it. Um, people just tell each other what the gender is and that's it. But I will upload something soon. I will try to upload something soon so you don't have to wait too long anymore. The next question is from Laura Taylor and she asks, it might be too early to answer, but do you plan on teaching your child English? Yes, I would love that. Children learn English at school here in the Netherlands from about age 9 or 10. And I think it would really help when we spoke English with them at home too. I have to do some research on what would be the ideal time to start teaching them. Um, I know of course some uh, parents talk two languages right from the start, right from when baby is born. But Daniel and me both are not native speakers, so I think we should be a little bit more careful. The next question is from Jen Parak and she asks, do you think your cleaning routine will change once baby arrives? Now more people commented on this topic and I think my cleaning routine will definitely change. I think I won't clean a lot the first few months or the first, or the first few months and then I will have to find a new routine and it will probably be a little bit of cleaning every single day, just like some of you suggested. We also talked about hiring someone maybe for the first few months, but we will wait until baby is here and then see how we will feel about that and how our energy is. And I will try to pre-record a lot of Clean With Me Mondays in the coming months. So towards the end of my pregnancy when I probably will be too tired to record them and the first few months or weeks when the baby is here, you can still watch them every single week. And after that, I hope I can record them every single week again, of course. Next question is from Debbie Fontana and she asks, just curious, how old are you guys? So I am 27 and Daniel is 31, so we are four years apart. Victoria H from Victories of Creativity asks, is your husband German? Usually 99% of Germans love everything very neat and organized. Uh, no, he's not German, even though he is very neat and organized. And we have been to Germany and we know a few German words like Guten Tag and Auf Wiedersehen. But um, no, he's not German, he's definitely Dutch. And we might travel to Germany this year, by the way. We have some friends there and um, we, we want to visit them. But we still try to find a day that suits all of us. But of course, when we go there, you will know because we will vlog it. The next question is from Kill Animal Abusers. And he or she says, how long have you been together and how did you meet? We have been together for six years now and we met uh, in 2009 when we were both in college and university. And uh, we went to this party, I guess you call it a theme party or a dress up party. And everyone had to be dressed like someone from the past. So I was wearing this white wig and I made a dress out of a very big red polka dot skirt. Daniel's hair was a little bit longer back then and he had this really neat side part. And he was wearing a jumper and a tie. I will try to find a picture and include them. So you can see what we looked like back then at the party. And 
so we started talking and I really liked him right away and he asked for my phone number. So I gave him my number and uh, it wasn't until the year after the party before we started dating, but that's a long story. And funny thing was though that we both were not invited to the party. We had both friends who were invited to the party and they asked us to join uh, them. So it was pretty coincidental that we were both there at the party, so I guess it just had to be that way. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at this. I think the video is quite long already. <clears throat> so if you have any more questions, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> if you have more questions, you can leave them in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Bye.